So, planning a 18 pound aluminum pour here. I always found it's good to plan for the pour instead of poor planning. So, let's take a look around at what I've got set up here. Of course, you see my furnace rig on the left. In the center there is the flask of the uh, intake manifold lid I'm pouring. Just in front of that is a set of uh, ingot molds in case for some reason I'd need to abort the pour. I've got enough ingot area there to pour an A20 full of uh, aluminum off if I, have, if I had to. Uh, got some buckets there for cleanup after I demold. Um, I made this little tree to hold my phone. It'll be the first time using that. That's just sitting in one of my roller outfeed table supports on that. Let's walk up and have a little closer look here. I've got my uh, electric furnace controller door open because it's hotter than the blazes here. It's 9 in the morning and it's already almost 90 degrees. 90% 90 humidity. Not ideal pouring conditions, but uh, I had to open the door on my controller because sitting in the direct sun, the uh, with all the power going through the controller there, the temperatures were getting to 140 or 50. Kicked my thermals out once, so uh, next controller will have a fan for extreme conditions like that. But for now, if I just open the door, everything seemed fine. Can't really see what's going on there because of the sun, but uh, it's at 1700. I got 20 pounds of metal in the pot. This down here, uh, that's the uh, reader for my immersion thermocouple, which pyrometer is right there with my gloves and my face shield sitting by it. I've got the, uh, just a little skimming tray there for the, any dross I skim off. Of course, the shank for snatching the A20. Get a little video of when I do that. And then, here's the uh, flask. So, that's what you, I've got a little build thread on homefoundry.org. I'll put a link to that in, in the video thread here, but uh, you can still, still got the turbine vibrators on each side. Um, put a little sand around the top in case for some reason I had an over pour, maybe just to save the, the wood a little bit and contain it. I'm not planning on that, but just in case. The ingot trays that I mentioned. And that's where I'm going to set the phone to take the video of the pour, so hopefully everything will come off okay. Stay tuned.